When the Messiah comes, Rome will be nothing! Until then. The lens that we're examining the story is a completely different angle. The most extraordinary story ever told, whether you believe it or not, looking at it through another pair of eyes and a different angle is just another wonderful retelling. I've been brought up from a young age with the story of Christ. But it was very interesting looking at that story through a Roman Tribune's eyes. Clavius is one of just a handful of military tribunes. And I think he's weary because his life is the industry of death. I did a lot of physical training with gladiators in, in Rome. Apart from his brutality and his military training, Clavius is a political animal and also an intellectual. A big component of the movie is, is really the detective work that takes place. He's put a lot of people to death in defense of his belief. But I think deep down he represents that we get a second chance. It's beyond us. Spare me the riddles and zealot babble. Where did you take Yeshua? Is he a goblin? A sprite? Alive again somehow? Open your heart and see. I see delusion. It doesn't matter. <sighs> a matter. No. Then give me the others and I'll grant you freedom. I'm already free. We sometimes have to challenge our own conditioning to accept others, and sometimes it's maybe good to look through a culture, a religion, or someone's point of view, not through your eyes, but through their eyes. I love the journey Clavius goes on, where his conditioning crumbles to take on a different landscape that there might be a world elsewhere from his point of view.